a new day, a new project. I got one of these step motors. It's from a printer, from a copier, and uh, it's supposed to run with 24 volts and 1.3 amps. And I was thinking about having a wind generator from it. It have a all-around magnet. We'll open up a little bit later and see what's inside there. And some coils, and I think it's a three-phase motor. But uh, the first step is to count how many, how many degrees per step do we have here. This is important because then we can see about the rotation. Uh, and over here it may say from 500 the speed of the rotation. I don't know. Let's check it out. First of all, let's, let me count the steps. Okay, so let's have a mark over here. So it's 25 steps, 360 degrees divided by 25, 14.4 degrees per step. You see, if you have more steps like this, then you can have a better voltage. I'm gonna disconnect these wires from here. Let me just open it up first. Okay. So here you have the motor. Hmm, nice. 12 coils. I think it's a three phase. Let me get the electronics out. Okay, so let me have some marks over here. Let's say this is one, two, three, and four. This is just in case I have to put all these things back together. So we have a barrel over there. This is nice. That means smooth operation first the first coil over there and that was like 1.6 ohm minus 1.8 1.6 minus a from here to here 0 0.8 ohms now let's see about the voltage i should go here 2.8 nice let's change the coil now okay so the next coil is from here to here we have the same 0 0.8 ohms and let's see about the voltages 2.1 same story so this is 2.1 also from from here to here 2.1 volts and i suppose the last one it's absolutely the same from here to here 0 0.8 ohms and let's see voltages 2.14 same story these two goes together and this one will go over here i hope we are in phase it's very important to have all this uh, to have all these uh, coils in phase. So the, the voltages and the current are adding together. So this is just a test. So we're going to have a, a better solution later. 
and now we should have like um, three times zero eight like two point four ohms if we consider the the extra ohms from uh, from the cable itself we are pretty accurate okay now And we got zero, almost nothing. So that means that means we are not in phase over here. There we go, four balls. Okay, so all we have to do now is to, okay, so. This is the best I can get, 4.4 volts. What about amps? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you can feel that when it's getting the coils in short. Let me check with the other one. Okay, on alternating current. Okay, so we have 1.3 amps. That's pretty encouraging. Okay, 1.3 amps, that's nice. What about voltage here? 4.52, that's the best. And that's amazing somehow, because I thought we just put this in series and I'll have like six volts at least. For now it's nothing nothing much to do, but at least with this 4.1 volts AC I can charge uh, easily lithium batteries. So I can use it for charging lithium batteries and uh, to have some night lights or anything like that. So I think the project is pretty okay. The first phase I may call it it's uh, almost done you know about this and now we have to to see about uh, the propeller and uh, how to put the things together in the wind so that should be very nice for charging 18650 lithium elements okay so that's it for now uh, more to come when the experiment is developing don't forget to have fun and be safe. See you soon. Bye bye.